What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to change the oil on a Troy Belt Mustang 50 inch zero turn lawnmower. Alright guys, as I've showed you quite a few times, this is my Troy Belt Mustang 50 inch. And this is the engine, the Foyer 7000 series, 25 horse. And we're going to change the oil today. One thing I do want you to know, and one of the best features of this, is this drain hose right here. Right there. So that's what we're going to drain the oil out of. And then, we're also going to replace the filter. Alright, so right back here is the oil filter. That right there is going to be the most difficult part. And the reason why I say it's going to be the most difficult part is I don't want any oil getting on everything. So I'm going to have to put like a pretty much a plastic bag down there to catch any kind of access that, uh, that comes out of the oil filter itself. Alright, in order for me to do this oil change, I need the following items. I need two wrenches. I need a three quarters inch wrench. A half inch wrench. I need an oil filter. Two quarts of oil, which is 64 ounces. And the last thing that I need is an oil container so that I can go ahead and properly dispose of the oil. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stick the oil disposal unit underneath the mower like this. I'm going to stick that tube right there. And I'm going to go ahead and prepare to go ahead and get it untightened so I can drain the oil. Alright, now that I've loosened the drain hose, next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is pull up the oil dipstick. And I'm going to do this so that airflow can flow from the top and let the oil properly drain out. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and loosen the strain plug fully. Go ahead and let the oil drain out. There we go. Make sure not to drop the plug into the container. That would be a pain in getting it out, unless you have a screen on it. So it's going to sit there and drain. Now this next part's going to be a little bit more difficult. We've got to get that oil filter out. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of plastic, I'm going to put it down there, then I'm going to put a paper towel that's a little bit more absorbent. I'm going to put it under there and I'm going to go ahead and undo the oil filter and the plastic and the paper towel should go ahead and collect all the oil. Now what I had to do with the oil filter, it was on a little bit too tight and I couldn't use an oil wrench because the oil wrench I had was a little bit too large. So what I did was is I took a screwdriver, jammed it in the side, and then untightened it that way. So now I'm going to take the new oil filter, I'm going to dip this ring here in oil, and I'm going to go ahead and put it back on. So now that I've put on the new oil filter, I'm going to go ahead and plug up the drain hole again. As you can see, a little bit did spill. I will go ahead and clean that up. Let's go ahead and plug that up. Alright, we're going to take our wrenches, we're going to get it nice and tight, not too tight, but nice and tight. Don't want any oil leaking out. There we go. So now it's time to add the oil. Now remember, this unit, the Mustang 50, takes 64 ounces, according to the owner's manual of oil. Each quart is 32 ounces, so it's going to be two quarts. I'm going to use 10W30, just like the manual suggests. Make sure you guys use a 
funnel because if not you may have a very big mess. Now what I like to do is I like to add one quart and then go ahead and let it rest. Let it drain all down in there. All right, let's let it rest for a second. All right, now that first quart has settled, we're gonna go ahead and put in the second quart. All right, now I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to put the dipstick in and do a full measure. All right, so now that we went ahead and changed the oil, I'm going to go ahead and start it just to get, get it a little warmed up. Alright guys, I appreciate you watching my video. Now you know how to change the oil on a Mustang 50 inch, or any Mustang for that matter. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Like the video if you think it was a good one, and definitely subscribe to my channel as there's going to be more videos to come. Next one hopefully up will be how to change lawnmower blades. Thanks guys.